<sighs> What's going on you guys? Welcome to the Single Guy channel. My name is Lloyd. Today we are going to be talking about how to actually be interested in what the other person is saying. Because if you know anything about meeting people, you know that being interested in what the other person has to say is the fastest way to make yourself more interesting. So if you're more interested in your conversations, you're going to have a lot more success with women, okay? In fact, it's probably going to solve like 90% of the problems that you have in conversation. I know this from coaching a lot of guys that a lot of times that they have problems actually being interested in what the other person has to say. Because let's be honest, when you're out at a bar, club, social event, or a party, or, or whatever it is, you're going to talk to a lot of people um, about subjects that you don't really care about, you know, especially that too. People have trouble getting in, you know, enthusiastic to have small talk or to uh, talk about a, a subject that they're not really interested in okay I used to have this problem too, you guys like when I used to go out and I would have to talk to a girl about so like her cats or some crazy story that wasn't that crazy at all it was actually just her I don't know freaking forgetting she left her keys at home or something like that I'm like holy cow how did this story end up being 10 minutes long you know <laughs> you just like you just want to rip your hair out and so it makes it very difficult if you're not able to get in the conversation to actually build some attraction build some tension uh, build some of those good things that we're talking about here okay so in this video basically what I'm going to cover is how to be more interested in what other people have to say but before I get into that I'm going to say if you guys are wondering how to do this or want to get coached by me one on one I would recommend that you take a look at my form down below fill it out and if we seem like if you seem sorry like a good fit then we'll get back to you um, and then we'll set up some calls and figure that out. Okay so uh, the first thing that I'm going to tell you about how to be more interested in what people have to say is don't think about the subject so much. A lot of times when guys are talking to a girl and they're talking about a subject that they don't care about, their temptation is to, okay, uh, if I don't like talking about the subject, maybe I'll change it to a subject that I like, okay? Stop focusing on the subject so much. I don't like talking about uh, a lot of things. Like There are a lot of subjects that I don't really care about. I don't give a shit about politics. I just don't. You know, it doesn't really seem like it's going to help me out in my life to be arguing who's right, sorry, who's correct, left or right, you know, like all those things bore me to tears, okay? But what I do care about when somebody's talking about politics is why they believe what they believe, because at the end of the day, I am interested in people. I like learning about why people do the things that they do. So when someone's talking about politics, I want to know why they think, if they hate Donald Trump or if they really like Donald Trump. What about Donald Trump do they not like? What about Donald Trump is fascinating to them or inspiring to them? Okay, I'm curious about them. And actually, that is a much better way of handling the conversation as opposed to just treating the topic as something like, well, I have to talk about politics now and I hate talking about politics. To, uh, especially in these kinds of subjects, what tends to happen as well too, as people start getting into debates, they start and they I, they have a certain opinion about something, and they really want to tell other people about uh, their opinions. Look, man, I've been going out a long time. I've talked to thousands of people, maybe tens of, th probably way more than that, maybe a million people. I've talked to a lot of people. Okay, people do not care at all about your opinions. Most of the time, you're probably not going to convince anyone of anything, especially if you're being obnoxious. So I don't try and do that to someone that I just met. I never try and convince anyone of anything when I've just met them. Rather, what I do instead is try and understand them, okay? And people are really fascinating, you know? what? Maybe they, they had a certain... They grew up a certain way, and so that's why they think what they think. Um, or maybe they had a really uh, bad experience or something like that, and that's why they believe what they believe. So whatever it is, whatever subject you're talking about, it can be a lot more fascinating if you focus on the person telling you about it rather than the subject itself. Okay, that's one thing. Now, also, too, if you're getting, uh, if someone's telling a story and it's, you know, boring you to tears, it's not a very good story, how can you make it more interesting for you? Well, the way you can make it more interesting is ask certain questions, okay? And again, I like to focus on the person in these cases. I like to focus on, you know, why it was so exciting for them. Like, in the, that example of the story of uh, some girl who left her keys at home, what about leaving the, that key was so uh, crazy? 
crazy for her, you know? Turns out she actually, she left her keys and it made her late to one of the most important meetings that she had to, that she had to go to for her company. She was just really bad at telling the story and so <laughs> that's why she couldn't, she didn't get to the point very quickly. But I was able to ask one quick question. We got to the point a lot faster. I was able to be more interested in her story because now I know what the whole point of it behind was. So um, ask key questions when people are telling you stories. Focus on the person that you're talking about rather than the subject itself. And also, too, share some stuff that you're fascinated in, and a lot of times they'll follow suit, okay? If people, if you have more of a commanding presence and you have more of an authoritative and, like, positive, assertive presence in your conversations, a lot of times people will follow suit with you. And so that tends to happen to me a lot when I'm talking to somebody is they'll just kind of like mirror what I'm saying a lot of times and tell the same kinds of stories, you know, make the same kinds of jokes. Um, and sometimes they can get a little boring. So I, I like to let people uh, go a little bit, but if you get good at handling the conversation, a lot of times you can steer it into a direction or into a format or, or, or into like a topic that is a lot more fascinating for you. Um, than that. And if you want to know how to do that a lot better, I recommend that you check out my How to Talk to Girls playlist. I talk about this a lot. I talk about it a lot in my coaching program. Um, and if you guys have any questions about this, please put them in the comment section below. I'll read them. Thanks a lot, you guys. Good luck out there.